Hello, hello, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today we will be playing Ghostbusters the video game. It came out, oh, in 2009, I think, and it was a really fun game, and I thought I'd bring it to you guys because I really enjoyed it. I've already done, uh, turned on all the subtitles and everything, that's why you see that I already have a new game, already have a game that's uh, in progress, but I'm going to be starting a new one today. So, uh, let's get started. Do experienced? Sure. Okay. Let's watch the opening scene. Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. No! Russell! Hey, man! You hear these swings? Yep. But by the new ghost or exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult. You know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time. <laughs> You can't be in here. Stop! You're haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm wraith, banshee demon specter, tortured solar. What? No, we do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the safe. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. Now this has some pretty long loading screens, so I might actually start cutting it out when I'm playing. Because it can get pretty long and. It's hard to sit here in nothing and talk sometimes. <laughs> so, we'll see how long they stay. Hey, it's the new cadet. Welcome aboard. This might be a little dangerous. <laughs> Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're going to burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. <laughs> you remember whatever the one is, kid. He's tuned and ready to go. You may feel a little tingle. Good. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial, a significant collected and centralized necromatic convulsion level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. <laughs> I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is a level 7 uh, whatever bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. <laughs> I really like the, is not the fun kind of getting busy. I really like the this character models in this game. Look out! Slimer's escaped again! Oh, no way to come back. <laughs> uh, I think I need to turn the sensitivity down a little bit. Just give me a second, sorry about this. I want to make sure I can provide a good um playthrough here. Alright. There. 
Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, cool. Alright. I like how you can jump in this game. Woo! Really small. I also really like the character models. They did a good job um, bringing the characters to life. So let's go down here and go catch Slimer. Let's move! What do you have? Uh, now, um... Egon should be standing over there. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to, um... Go talk to him here. In the grand scheme, you all must realize these diversions mean nothing. They put a lot of, um... They put a lot of Easter eggs in here for the fans. So let's go down here and go catch Slimer. Ghostbusters. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. Okay. No, not the and I broke it. That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Uh. Whoops, you let one out. That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. Great. First day on job, I break something. And his escapee friend went with him. Hmm. Come on, kid. We got a job for you. Great. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. Not sure about the other guy, though. Okay. Let's go get him. Then. Let's go. Open the door. Oh, and uh, don't sweat the containment unit. It's Whoa. Easy to get Start with that lag. First time out with the proton stream. Egon will fix it in no time. After this episode, I might have to um, change my frap settings for this game. Sorry if there's any lag in this episode. I, it will be fixed next time. And now, oh. first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Great. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. I really like how um, the more green that's on the bar, the more there's no bars on the screen. It's all on the pack. It's great. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to bend the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. Yep. Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost's PKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. Whoa, lag. I really gotta fix frap settings for the next episode. That's not okay. It also shows, um, up in the top left you can see, um, it shows how much damage I've done to the surrounding area. It's pretty funny. Whoa. He left. And the other ghost, yeah, there's the other ghost. And I thought Slimer was disgusting. Big fat guy who throws up on you, the sloth ghost. Where'd he go? There he is. This dude pole's in the way. Okay, let's get this guy. Let's do some damage. Damage, damage, damage. Alright, you've got a good and winded. Next stage, capital. You can project the capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that cover. There we go. Fantastic! You oh, got shoot. it! Got it. As soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or counter wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do it. Yeah. Watch the ghost. When he makes a dash in one direction, you pull the stream quickly in the other. Give it a shot! There we go. Boom. Boom. Good Bam. Work. Boom. Now dig in hard and hold on to it. If a ghost still has some serious fight in him, it's almost impossible to drag him into the trap. It's like you're popping him up. Yeah, take that. Into the ground. You did run a background check on you, right? Now we can move to stage <laughs> a three. A background check. You're going to need some place to put that. Have to throw your trap. Throw that out there. Oh, perfect. See the feet mm. coming from the closed trap? That helps you find it when things get crazy. Just yeah, there like we go. Up the slam meter, but faster. And... 
get in there. Oh, no. Oh, boom. Get, no, get back in there. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, get in there. Get in the trap. Get in the trap. Get over here. Oh, okay. Come on. Get in the trap. This is really frustrating. Come on. Get in the trap. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. There. No. Nope. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. We did it. Very nice, kid. You've got some real promise. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your track. Of course. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Ah, uh, we're batting five. <laughs> and I destroyed the whole entire area. That bag is first one though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Things like the Dickens, too. <laughs> awesome. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware. Of course. If not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Scooter. We need to go. Let's roll. Um, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy what you are seeing. Like and subscribe if you are, of course. And uh, as always, we'll see you next time.